On tap for our first stop on the Pocono Beverage Trail, Bavino's Brewery from downtown Stroudsburg. Ed Malsh's smile is as wide as the barrels he brews in, talking about his passion served by the pint. It is not a job to me, brewing beer. I've done a lot of jobs, but this, when I come to work every day, it is, I, don't, I have so much fun. It is not work, interact with people. I can sit there, spend hours doing it, and thoroughly enjoy it. We kind of brew beer for every different kind of beer drinker that there is. From light beers to darker beers to lagers, I think we do a pretty good job of making drinkable beer for a lot of people. And if beer isn't your thing, Bavino's does have local wine and spirits to serve up on this stop along the Pocono Beverage Trail, plus a food menu that pairs perfectly with anything. That is such a good thing, being on Main Street. Maybe they don't start here, they could have started somewhere else, but they end up here, they sit down, they have beer, they can enjoy the food. That's why the Bavino's crew is ready to share their brews with everyone at their location on Main Street in Stroudsburg. Just a short drive from downtown Stroudsburg, Royce Featherman's Eagles Rest Cellars is ready to take flight this season on the Pocono Beverage Trail as well where we're located from New York City and Philadelphia. It's a, a beautiful triangle, and the more people we could ex be exposed to, there's plenty of beautiful places to go and relax and enjoy music and good drinks. We would love people to come to Eagle's Rest Cellars. Much of the wine bottled with the Eagle's Rest Cellars label is from the grapes grown right here in Cherry Valley on a conservation easement. Named for where Royce's father, an airline pilot, landed for retirement. But also for the eagles that fly around this land. They're on the property every single day, and people ask why Eagles Rest, um, well, it was tree plantation, now it's Eagles Rest Cellars. Eagle is synonymous with pilot, which is what my father was with Transworld Airlines, and this is where he came to rest to retire, so that's why it's called Eagle's Rest. Royce and his wife are both Air Force veterans, adding to the reason for these names, taxi, lift, divert, and airdrop, to name a few. When you touch down at Eagle's Rest Cellars, there are plenty of ways to enjoy what comes from the vines. The fire pit, flower gardens, sunflower fields, and eventually a pumpkin patch, all about to bring a bouquet of smells and taste to this part of the Pocono Beverage Trail. We do have tastings. We have a lot of outdoor areas. We have music on weekends. There's a, a lot to offer uh, on top of just the beauty of Cherry Valley. We do have 15 different wines that we uh, sell, we make. We make all our own wines here. And uh, we also, with our winery license, we're allowed to sell craft beverage brews, which would be locally sourced beer from Shawnee Craft, um, Richmond Farms and Brewery, and Log Tavern from up in Milford, as well as distilled spirits. So when you're heading out on the Pocono Beverage Trail, be sure to check out both stops here in Stroudsburg. Bavino's Brewery downtown, bring your appetite and adventurous palate, and Eagle's Rest Cellars to soak in the environment and sweet and dry wines. More info at PoconoBeverageTrail.com. Jim Hamill for the Pocono Television Network.